evening everybody. It's become a bit of tradition really the last few years to build something that you or your family or your friends can play with. Of course this year it'll probably have to be just your family. This is nothing new and I remember it and I could never do it as solitaire and it was a little plastic box with little dimples for these little pegs that look like double road cones if you like like a road cone glued onto the end of a road cone and the idea is you have to remove the other counters, pegs, whatever you want to call them and end up with the last one in the middle and you do this by leapfrogging over the different pegs but not diagonally and hopefully at the end your last one will be in the middle I never managed it and I don't suppose I'm going to manage it now but we're going to build it anyway this is from the December 1953 Meccano magazine as I say it was called the Huffer Bolt in this article but solitaire whatever you like it's a very simple construction so let's get on with it basically we're just going to build a frame to start with that will form most of the build really certainly the outer bit in each corner you use the 3 8 inch bolts that's about nine and a half mil if you're into that newfangled metric system which I am really I'm not old enough to do Imperial well all Imperial but uh, I use a bit of a mix but yeah 3 8 inch nine and a half mil bolts just using the different colours uh, to make it a bit easier really because obviously there's a lot of zinc going on of course you could use any colour you like for the framework but I thought well it's Christmas so let's make it all shiny and bright well brightish these are a little bit shall we say discoloured in a way stained it's the hardest thing to be right with this is uh, to get it square initially it won't matter after a while dead easy stuff this one hence why I've not speeded up the video I appreciate what it can be like to just sit around trying to watch a video that's a long time but that happens sometimes coming together quite nicely very simple you can build this if your skill level is newbie or indeed you are young and probably a newbie as well so there's the frame and now we put three strips across the middle like so and we've got to secure them so uh, I'll remove them, put them on to show you. I see my, what can we call them? It's sort of biathlon figures, but let's call it mecathlon. And this one here, he's, um, he's very irritating, always falling over. I built those uh, biathlon figures a couple of weeks ago. As, uh, well, something to do really, but I did uh, have few parts and I built the first one there, that's like the start. Then you've got shooting one, the prone, shooting two, which is standing, <laughs> when he wants to stand. And then absolutely worn out, and that's putting it mildly at the end. Yeah, a bit of fun. I could have done with a few more parts, even when I built uh, the remaining three, that was the first one. I built these later on at home. Where I got more parts, but I was struggling for a few things in the right colours. But it's a bit of fun. I haven't actually built a lot this year after, I suppose, May when we had the virtual Meccano show. Which, to be honest, I don't think I'll do again. I don't think it really flew that well, as it were. And if you've got just photos in an album that's all it is it's just a an album of photos another album of photos I appreciate the really long time it takes to do videos 
as I do them a lot myself. In fact, as I'm doing this, the video that you may have seen, hopefully you'll see, the video that I'm completing now, the computer is doing it, sorting itself out before I can upload it. And so far, it's been at it two hours or so and it's got another five to go for about a 20 minute video so I appreciate the effort that uh, takes and what well, probably puts folks off but uh, yeah this this year's been a weird one so try and do things to keep us I suppose a semblance of normality really the design uh, the design shows these with the nuts facing but I like it that way and as I'm using different colour nuts it shouldn't be a problem so we got that there and now we go the other way makes a nice window frame <laughs> It'll be a weighty thing once it's finished. Yeah. Quite weighty indeed. Yeah, going back to this year and Meccano, yeah, I think I stopped pretty much after about May, early May. Because I'd absolutely binged on it, like a lot of us, and then things started to free up. Well, not totally, of course, but to an extent, and it's been a lot of motorcycling, not much Land Rover and stuff this year. And talking of Land Rover, and I must get around to putting the six volt battery box on the Meccano Forest Rover. I've been at that for so many years now, still not finished. In fact, I don't know where it is at the moment. Right, that's slightly crooked. Let's try and get that a bit more lined up. Nearly there. That should do us. the right end. I think that's it. Nearly. It's a bit slippy on this surface doing things with shiny parts. Wasn't so bad uh, it's quite slippery. It wasn't bad for the uh, number two outfit bills. Now, that's the top. The pointy side is the bottom. The three eighths inch bolts form the legs in the corners. And just to stop things slipping around a bit, we're going to put these grommets on the end like that. Yeah, probably hard to see, I would think. Just there, you might 
just be able to get see them there because they're very similar colour to the zinc. And there we go. There is your board if you like. Now all you have to do is load everyone into the holes inside the frame except the very center one there we leave that open which allows you to move and start the game there we go folks all done very simple very quick to build it probably took me just as long to put all the bolts in for the pegs to play the game than actually build it. It's very stable, even more so with those little grommets on it. doesn't scratch the surface now, so that's quite good. I suppose I better give it a go, which I won't subject you to because we'll be here forever. But anyway, Merry Christmas all. Happy New Year. <laughs>